Hello everyone. Welcome back to the YouTube channel of Sri Swaminand Physiotherapy College. I am Stuti Shah and today we are going to talk about physiotherapy for back pain in postnatal period. Postnatal period is the period when mother's body begins its period to recovery and coming back to normal. The mother is going to face few immediate postnatal problems. These can be back pain, bladder and bowel problems, painful perineum, diastasis recti abdominis, symphysis pubis pain, circulatory problems, and fatigue. Talking about back pain. Back pain is one of the very common complaints that the new mother is going to have. Back pain affects the quality of life of this new mother. The main causes of pain can be joint laxity, muscle weakness, and wrong feeding postures. The mother can experience pain in cervical region, thoracic region, lumbar region, sacral region, and coccygeal region. The first line of the treatment the therapist can give can be giving going for modalities like tents or advising a hot pack or cold pack. You can also go for joint mobilizations at the sacroiliac level or at your lumbar level. If the mother is experiencing pain in her coccygeal region, a coccygeal ring cushion is advised in which the pressure from the coccyx will be released. She is taught relaxation postures because relaxation is very important in all the postpartum mothers. The mother can also be taught that how can she now lie down in a prone lying position and experience relaxation. She is taught how to get up from bed. The knees are kept slightly bent, the hips are adducted and then she is advised to get up. The very first basic exercises that the mother is taught is pelvic tilting isometric abdominal exercises and the most importantly your kegels exercises it, which are there for strengthening of your pelvic floor muscles. In the next step the mother is taught partial curl ups and going for diagonal curl ups. She is taught how to go for wall squats and core exercises are started along with heel slides and arm movements. In the next phase, she is taught how to go for strengthening of her lower limb muscles and your core muscle exercises are further progressed and ultimately to a point where she can even perform plank in a very good manner. The mother is going to go for feeding of her baby for more than 8 times a day. This is the time where she can get rest and there can be restoration of energy for her. She can continue her pelvic floor muscle exercises even during this time. These are the postures which the mother should go so that there is proper support to her back as well as the child is comfortable and there is very less stress onto your back muscles. Cradle hold, cross cradle hold, football hold, Side lying positions and laid back positions are the few positions in which the mother can experience a rest, relaxation and the feeding can also occur properly. If you observe these two figures, the mother is sitting in a sitting posture but she is sitting unsupported. There are chances of cervical pain, thoracic pain, Pain in her knees because of the awkward position as well as pain in her ankles. Because of these reasons, these two postures are not advised. Now, if you observe this posture, on the right hand side, the mother is sitting with a supported chair, yet her posture is not proper. She can have pain in her cervical region, in her hip region as well as her knees. So the correct posture would be sitting properly with the back support, back upright and even the feet are supported with the help of a stool. 
Nappy changing is another process which in which the mother is going to spend a lot of time. The mother is going to change the nappy for dozens of times throughout the day. If you observe these postures, in all these postures, the mother is stooping down to change the nappy of the baby. In this, there can be stress onto the lower back and hence, these postures are not advised. If a mother wants to change the nappy of her child from a low stool to a mid stool, a low stool, the mother can go for a half kneeling position and change the nappy of the child. If it, the stool is a mid stool, the mother can stand erect and change the nappy. If it is a higher table, it is advised that the mother stands supported against the table or the particular area and then go for nappy changing. And if a mother is going for changing the nappy onto the floor, it's better that the mother goes into a kneeling position. Another thing which the mother can go for changing nappy of the child on the floor is keeping the child in her lap. Bathing is also a very happy experience for the baby as well as the mother. But if the mother is going to stoop down and bathe the baby, then again she may experience pain in her lower back. There are specific baby baths which are available, which can be fitted onto the basins or onto the larger baths so that the mother will not have to kneel down or stoop down and then bathe the baby. It is very important for the therapist who is treating a postpartum woman to encourage the mother. The therapist herself should be very enthusiastic and one thing should be kept in mind that not too many exercises are taught to the mother at the same time. The exercises should be gradually increased. Thank you. Please do not forget to like, share and subscribe our YouTube channel.